So we got Trevion Graham of the VCU Rams, six foot six, two hundred and twenty pounds, senior. Uh, he rebounds very well for a size, seven point one rebounds a game. Also shoots a three pretty good, thirty eight percent from three point range, but only forty three percent from the field. Is not a great athlete. Doesn't explode well. Thus, doesn't finish that great at the rim. So his two point uh, his fin- his field goal percentage at the rim is actually kind of down. Um, it's going to be weird to see how he plays because a lot of what he does is, is basically scrapping uh, for buckets and outside of hitting his outside jump shot. So I gave him a 65 overall, as you saw, and he is categorized as a raw scrapper, which I think is pretty accurate. I like it when I plug in the ratings and all that kind of stuff, and then the, you know, the summary of what they call the players actually kind of fits what I think their style is, so... That means I at least got did what I was basically trying to do. So, yeah, this is Trevion Graham, not somebody who – he may not get drafted. He actually, to be honest, he may not get drafted. I could see him being a D-League guy who, you know, if he finds a niche, can join a team later on. But I don't anticipate – but you never know. He could go to Portsmouth and really kill it. So you just don't know. But he got a 65. Let's look at the next person who is – Towards the bottom of this list, for sure, it is Justice Winslow. Got the 72 for Duke. Justice Winslow reminds me a lot of Jimmy Butler. He is physically strong, pretty good athlete. I think Jimmy's probably a little bit better uh, run-jump athlete than him. Uh, But I think he's a better jump shot shooter at this. Well, he may be a better jump shot shooter than Jimmy, period. But he's definitely a better jump shot shooter than Jimmy was early in his career because Early on, Jimmy couldn't shoot a skill in the ocean. Jimmy ain't got no shot. Jimmy ain't had no shot. That was what I said a lot. So he's 6'7". Uh, Justice is 6'7", 229 pounds, only 19 years old. Has a 6'10 wingspan, which is pretty good for a wing guy. Um, averaged 12.6 points a game for the national champion, Duke. Um, 51.6% of his, uh, made 51.6% of his twos. But he made 41% of his threes, and he took almost three a game. So that that tells you he can actually shoot the ball pretty well. But I guess you look at, like, his field goal percentage at the rim, it wasn't quite as high as I expected it to be. Um, defensively, yeah, I had to give him some give him some love on reputation. But if you look at, like, his steals, 1.3 steals is good. 0.9 blocks is Really pretty good, really good for a uh, small forward, small forward shooting guard. I think he's more of a small forward. So it was a weird kind of a rating to me for him. Uh, Potential is definitely up there, but I gave him a 72 um, because, I don't know, ball handling is good, not super great. Um, It was weird. It's like he's good at just about everything, but I'm not sure he's great at anything outside of on the defensive side of the ball. So we'll see. Uh, but like I said, I hooked him up on the potential. Gave him a 72 overall. I think the the render came out pretty good. So that's that. Let's move on to the last guy in this episode. Last guy that I'm ready and complete and ready to show. And these other guys, we know the deal. This is Chris Ogbekpa. Big man from St. John's. This dude defends. He can't score a lot, but he blocks shots and he rebounds. He runs the floor well, too. Uh, I could see him rising up late in the draft. He may not get into the, into the first round, but I can definitely see him rising up, getting into the, sec, into the, uh, into the second round. Only average 5.9 points, 7.2 rebounds. But the biggest thing about him you look at is the, um, the shot blocking. That's where you're going to really see you know, him kind of step up and potentially be a good prospect. He averaged uh, 3.3 blocks a game, and his wingspan is 7'4 half. That's sick. He's 6'9". When you got a wingspan that is 7 half inches longer than your height, that you're doing, you, you're like a condor or something. It's ridiculous. Not a good free throw shooter, 50.7%, and only okay close to the rim. Uh, but that defense and that length and that athleticism, you just really can't 
Um, you can't front on it. You know who he? I'm gonna tell you something. I got hey, I got one for you. And this is he's from Nigeria, and this is not because he's Nigerian, but uh, or not because he's African, but he physically reminds me a little bit of Serge Ibaka. If he can get a jump shot like Ibaka worked on worked and got his jump shot, you could be looking at a similar type of guy because physically. Uh, he's, I mean, when you look at him, the way he's built, he's cut up out of like a, out of a rock with the long arms, the good athleticism, the good timing for, for shot blocking. So that's his base. If he can add the jump shot, the way Ibaka's added the jump shot, then you're talking about a really good player. Um, so yeah, gave him a 66 overall. Can't automatically say that that's what's going to be, that's what's going to happen, but it's possible. So the 66 overall for Obekpa. And that's the rest of this episode. I got another one coming. I appreciate y'all watching. God bless. Peace.